Pascal. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Sean and this is Free 99 English. In today's episode, we are going to be learning English with really, 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 really bad computer drawings. I'm terrible at this. But before we get into that, I'd like to ask that you consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Like this video if you find it useful. Comment below to show any love that you have. Make sure you follow me on my social medias. The links are below. With that being said, let's get right into this. But you might ask, but teacher, what are business expressions? Business expressions are expressions that are rarely used outside of a business setting, but are commonplace in a corporate setting. At some point in your life, you may enter into a workforce that uses a language that isn't in your native tongue. In all English business environments, you'll run into a lot of expressions, phrases, idioms you may have never heard of. These expressions, when translated, make absolute no sense. So, Let's dive right into the 11 most common business expressions. The first one is stay on top of it. This means to stay in control and not get behind or let your work pile up. I've got so much work that it's difficult to stay on top of it all. I didn't mean you had to literally stay on top of it. So stay on top of it doesn't mean that you actually get on top of your work. It just means that you don't get behind. Don't let your work pile up. The next one is to think outside the box. To think of an unusual or creative solution to a problem. What are you doing in there? Think outside the box. The next one is multitasking, to do several tasks at the same time. So this guy here, he's crunching some numbers. He's doing his paperwork, he's checking his sales, he's getting his presentation ready, and of course, refilling his supplies. That means he's multitasking, he's doing several things at the same time. The next one is be on the ball, to be alert and sure not to make any mistakes. Wow, you're really on the ball. Thanks. So it doesn't literally mean that he's standing on a ball. Standing on a ball is a difficult thing to do. It requires a lot of concentration and balance. So be on the ball means that the person has to balance and be careful. And the next one is back to square one. Start over or go back to the beginning. I don't think this will work. Okay, okay. Let's take it back to square one. The next one is hit the ground running. To start something new, full of energy, with focus from day one. It doesn't mean to actually run. The next one is red tape. Refers to excessive regulations and rules that you need to comply with before you can get work done. Before we begin, you'll need to fill out Form 1182B and Form 4567A1 and Form 3257C and blah, 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 and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Mmm, red tape. 
And the next one is cash cow. A term for a product or investment that generates profit that far exceeds the initial startup cost. So it's something that makes you a lot of money. Cash cow. <laughs> Next one is ballpark figure. Refers to a rough or approximate financial estimate. So it's basically a guess. You're guessing how much money you're going to lose. You're guessing how much money you're going to make. It's a ballpark figure. No, we're not going to play baseball at the ballpark. Next one is walking papers. To receive notice that you are being fired or laid off from your job. I'm sorry to inform you, but we've decided to let you go at this time. The next one is, there's no I in team. The way to spell team is T-E-A-M. So literally, there is no I in team. Or is there? There is no I in team means that no one person takes all the credit for the achievements of a group effort. There's no I in team. Yes, there is. It's hidden in the A-hole. So a lot of people will say that there is an I in team, and it's right here. Right in the A-hole. That's a little bit of a, a cheeky joke. And if you know what an A-hole is, then you'll understand. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Something a little bit different. Um, it's really, 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 really bad drawings. But I hope you learned something. If you guys want to learn more, you can check out the two videos that I have up on the screen. And I'll catch you over in the next video. Peace. Also, let me know if you have any other business expressions that you might know that you can teach us. Comment below. See ya.